Hello, and welcome to Gothic Reviews. Today we are reviewing the TV series from 2008 called Fear Itself. As in, nothing to fear but fear itself. Although the episodes, most of them seem to have other things to fear. I yes. might call it more of a graphic, um, gory, explicit, like Crypt Keeper or Twilight Zone, but the episodes were longer, like they were close to an hour. Yes, maybe around 48 minutes or something like that, I want to say. Yeah, because you're taking out the commercials. If you're watching it on DVD, that would be on like a channel. So, yeah. And we got them from Netflix, and there were 13 episodes, charmingly enough. Yes, perfect number of darkness. And I guess it is uh, in the format of anthology that lacks a host, but does have some unified themes from different episodes. They might be disconnected from each other sequentially, or in the order of cast appearances or anything like that, so they are entirely independent, but at the same time some traces of supernatural themes can be uh, appreciated, the different takes on the supernatural. And um, then there is the other variation is those thrillers with the twist. Uh, some of them seem pretty surprising. Usually we can both guess uh, the detective stories and stuff like that. Uh, like we can, well, we can watch, we can read and figure out within five minutes who did it and stuff like that. And this time they're actually surprising us. It's kind of pretty good, I would say. Yeah, when it's something that we're trying to follow the twists and turns and we're wrong. I think Gomez guessed a few in the middle, but not right at the beginning. Yes, and that's only because of my genius, of course, and I never brag. <laughs> never. <laughs> so he's saying he doesn't think most people will figure it out. <laughs> it was a burn, as they say in some circles, but we done in this channel. We're only kidding, of course. Yes. They're, they're pretty good. Um, yeah, so it goes between thriller type um, horror and supernatural definite element type horror. And some of them are, are themes that may have definitely already been done before, but they have like a new little twist or something that makes it unique for their own. So it's a fun little show. I think it's definitely worth watching if you're into horror and the supernatural. Um, it's not the most unique thing you've ever seen ever in your life, which may be why I only had 13 episodes. I'm not sure. We did not check. But it was good. The stories were told well. And um, again, I think it was something that's worth watching. I wouldn't probably buy it and have it in the collection to keep rewatching. But I think it was definitely worth a one time watch. And I didn't feel annoyed by any of the episodes. Like, why did I waste my time on this? It was enjoyable, which we have felt like that about certain things we watched. As you could see from one of our other reviews. <laughs> yeah. So um, we just finished the 13 episodes. So we thought we would just do a quick review on it. Um, so, Fear Itself is definitely um, worth, yeah, I already said that, watching, so I guess that's it. Well, also, it has a very charming melody. Oh, yeah, it. I meant to say that earlier, that the theme music is really cool. It kind of reminds me of the group Creature Feature a little bit. Yeah, exactly. But it definitely sounds dark, but it kind of has a dark, bouncy cuteness, like something the Under the Bed Monster could sing. Um, and uh, maybe I would say that if you want to know for sure if you like this series or not, just start with the very first disc and there is an episode there that you are bound to like. Oh, that was the good voodoo one, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to spoil it, but it was it was creepy good voodoo stuff. Like, it was one of the best. So if you don't like that, it, you pro might not like the rest of it either, so that would be a good indication for you. It's not voodoo, it's just that that was actually a really good one, so if, if you don't like one of the best, then you probably wouldn't like the rest. Yes. And now I think we covered all the aspects. Um, it, it is fast-paced, it develops nicely, good characterization. Uh, I had no complaints really, so... Yeah, I think that was a good point. It is fast-paced. You can't go out of the room for five minutes and come back and not miss anything. Um, like some other things that you could watch that you can catch up and figure it out. You might need to kind of be there for the whole thing. I know I'll be trying to make food at the same time as watch it sometimes and I definitely have to focus. Which is good. It means it's not boring, so fast-paced holds the attention. That was a good point. Thank you. Okay, and that was Fear Itself from 2008. There is another Fear Itself from 2015 that we have not watched and I've not posted the review of, so don't confuse the two. This is just the 2008 version. Yes, we will watch 15 whenever we're able to get it, but right now it is not in our realm yet. 
aka on Netflix. One day it will show up, but until then, we hope you enjoyed this review from Bad Web Gothic Reviews, the review of Fear Itself 2008, and we would like you to subscribe, share, or like our video at your discretion. Thank you for watching, dear friends and goodies.